Welcome everyone to Carol's Art Room. I have a wooden plaque that I got from the dollar store. It wasn't a dollar, but <clears throat> it was, I think, three dollars or two fifty. I forget. It was under three dollars anyway. And uh, it's a wooden plaque and I put some gesso over it. I'm going to let the paint run down the sides. I taped the back and it has a string on it to hang it. So I'm going to do a bloom um, with some turquoise and purple. I did one earlier with uh, turquoise and purple and the purple was the dominant color. So this time I'm going to reverse the colors and maybe the turquoise will be more predominant. Pouring down my Glidden house paint. I just noticed there's a goober in here. Okay. Got some dioxazin purple, which I was going to put on the bottom, but I'm reversing them now. So, okay. All right. This one's going to be on the bottom. This one is aqua. I'm getting mixed up here. That one's going to be on the top. This one's going to be on the bottom. <clears throat> this is Deco Art Jadet with some uh, pearl white mixed in. They're both um, um, extreme sheen. Dioxys and purple. These two colors look so pretty together. <clears throat> Liquitex Basics and some Amethyst mixed in, which is Deco Art. one is amethyst just plain amethyst now I got some white I've been trying to put white the second color underneath the top color and this one is Equitex white Titanium white with some pearl white mixed in, some golden pearl. It should make some peacock cells. And then this one is Color Shift Aqua Flash. Use a black cell activator. And I'll 
use my mini blower. oxide black and uh, an Australian Floatron. Here's my mini blower. Everything except for that one spot, but that's always a way. It's really pretty. I hope it spins out nicely. A few air bubbles here. called the world's smallest blower for anybody that doesn't know and I get it on I got mine on Amazon I haven't looked in a while they should still have it it's letting the middle come back and this spinner is a cake spinner it's a metal one it's really smooth <clears throat> The middle is still stuck a little bit. Let's do my Wow, these colors look so pretty together. Come on, that middle stuck. spin
Oh, it's cool doing it on something round, isn't it? This is so pretty. So we can move it this way a little more. Some colors together just make your eyes so happy. You look at it and you're like, whoa. Very nice. I like how this spread out. Not so much here. Still moving, so I'm going to give it another spin. Sides are almost all covered. A little more on this side. The way it's gonna have to hang. I would have rather had it over here like that, but you can't plan these things too much on this kind of a technique. There's just a few little spots I can touch with my, my little stick here. I think this will look so pretty resined. Wow, I love it. Love it. I think it's good. I don't think it's moving anymore. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like these colors and this bloom. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Comment below. And uh, 
There's lots of information in the description under my video and my recipes. Just hit the title and you'll get a drop down. And there's a discount code for the Shelley Art course if you're interested in learning more about the, the bloom technique. And thanks for watching. Whoopsie, whoopsie, sorry. Get carried away sometimes. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Here's the round wooden sign that I did. Look at that. Aren't they pretty? Pretty, pretty. Love these colors together. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.